Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I'm here to welcome you to the 10th episode of Spooky Saturday with your narrator, Paranormal Poet. To those who are new here, I will be narrating a true user-submitted scary story. I do these every Saturday, so if you enjoy it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's begin this bizarre story. Story 11. Caught in its gaze. Hello, paranormal poet. My name, or rather well-known nickname, is Waterhorse. This encounter happened in the summer of 1982. The much-anticipated Spielberg movie E.T. was showing in movie theaters. The advertising for this thing was insane. I was five at the time, which really tells you how traumatizing this experience was for me. I was excited to see the movie, and couldn't wait to go with my mom and brother to see it. My mom had bought my brother and I posters of E.T. himself. Excited, I proudly hung mine on the closet door directly in front of my bed. My window had an arch to it, where the light beamed through above the sheer curtain over the window. The moon was particularly bright, as the light would illuminate the alien countenance posted on the closet door. It made me shiver. Throughout the entire movie, I couldn't help but feel an intense and overwhelming amount of energy. I was feeling uneasy. Afterwards, we came home from the theater. The movie was an absolute hit when we watched it. We were exhausted and retired to our rooms. It was time for the night to end, and time for a waking nightmare to begin. I lay there, staring at the alien eyes illuminated by the sharp wedge of moonlight pouring through my window. As I was drifting off, there came a low, dull scratching sound. What was that? I thought. The scratching continued. It seemed to be coming from inside my closet. What could that possibly be? At that moment, I saw a giant hand with claws tearing through the closet door. To my horror, the claws ripped right through the poster. The sound it created was unholy, like nothing I'd ever experienced before. Nor have I since. It was like a ripping, like when a predator's teeth decimate sinew and bone. I sat up wide-eyed, unbelieving of what I was witnessing. My mom busted through the door. Apparently, my blood-curdling scream alerted her, though I don't remember that. I just remember the eyes. The moonlit eyes that had me frozen in fear. My mom said that when she came in, I was fixated on the E.T. poster. She could not get my attention. I was in some sort of trance. In a frenzied panic, my mom tore the poster from the closet door. She understood the connection and did the only thing that made sense. In that instant, my trance broke. I was sweating and crying, terrified from what I had just experienced. Forty years later, I remember this experience like it was yesterday. To whom this story may concern, be careful what you open yourself up to. Is that so? I almost had you. Two weeks again. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.